Hello friends, uh, welcome back to this NPTEL course on ESD. Uh, in the last class, we were discussing about uh, global citizenship and what should be the curriculum framework and how MGIP, Mahatma Gandhi Institute of uh, Education for Peace and Youth uh, and Development. So, how this MGIP has taken care of developing a framework, uh, SLE framework uh, and uh, <coughs> proposing a uh, course, proposing a course for um, global citizenship education uh, education so how these are going to be uh, applied uh, in the school in the school context in education context and how it is going to help us so uh, help us that will continue with that discussion so unesco has already ensured that the role of culture is recognized uh, through many of the sdgs uh, especially focusing on the quality education sustainable cities environment economic growth sustainable consumption, sustainable production pattern, peaceful and inclusive society, gender equality, food security, all these aspects UNESCO has already emphasized these uh, key terms, key concepts, uh, key objectives in terms of various goals, various SDGs. So, from starting from the cultural heritage to cultural and creative industries. So, how culture and heritage can uh, be a um, driver to mobilize all these resources and how we can incorporate in our not only in our education curriculum framework, but in our industry, in our administration, in our governance. So, how culture uh, can both be a driver as well as an enabler as an enabler in economic growth, social and in environmental dimensions activities for, um, for taking us forward towards uh, achieving the SDGs and sustainable development, uh, sustainable development uh, uh, for all the countries. So, um, so UNESCO's work, therefore UNESCO's, UNESCO's work on promoting this cultural diversity, sharing this and sharing these uh, cultural practices and uh, UNESCO's even culture conventions also at the key key terms key uh, for the implementing this 2030 agenda, the agenda for the sustainable development. So, culture, cultural practices, heritage can become a driver within the framework of ESD and how this uh, global citizenship can also be built in built within the framework of ESD, uh, ESD that is how GSG, global citizenship education, how it is, it uh, has to be incorporated in the framework of ESD that is to achieve uh, this Mm, to achieve this mm, SDGs, all the SDGs uh, for uh, all the countries by 2030. So, therefore, <coughs> we can say that, that uh, so here uh, cultural heritage, cultural practices, mutually exchanging the cultural, uh, you know, cultural resources are also important. Similarly, the transformative power of culture for social inclusion. Uh, so, resilience, developing a sustainable society. So, it is, uh, it is increasingly uh, recognized as a key enabler for the sustainable development. So, just like ESD, so culture has also been, culture has also been considered as a very powerful tool, powerful tool for bringing that transformation or uh, powerful transformative tool for bringing that transformation for the social cohesion, building a resilient society, then the, for social inclusion, for humanity, for human values, for uh, you know for human values, for the global well-being, community welfare, all kinds of the issues the culture has also become a very powerful tool for bringing that information, uh, transformation in the society. So, cu culture is also uh, uh, considered as a very essential component for the human development, growth, you know growth uh, not only representing our identity, our resources, etcetera, but also uh, it also establishes our innovations, our creativity that which uh, also often, often provides us the sustainable solutions uh, for uh, facing all the global or the local challenges. So, we can, here you can say that culture is, is a bigger, is a very powerful transformative tool and uh, which will help us in achieving this global citizenship education for all, for all of us and, um, and to build a sustainable society and to achieve this all these SDGs. So, a strong sustainability culture exists if the people share a belief in sustainability's importance and behave in that way. So, that means, yes, culture can definitely act as a very strong or powerful a tool to bring the transformation in the society provided we believe in this provided we believe in this uh, sustainability and uh, believe this uh, believe that the uh, culture is a powerful resource 
powerful tool for sustainability. So, it is a very important part of the sustainability resource. If you believe this, then definitely culture plays a very active role. So, um, to behave, so the, uh, we must understand that is, uh, we must understand the sustainability imperatives. What sustainability applies, implies in our society that we need to understand it. Sustainability imperatives, imperatives that means implications in our society and establish and follow a sustainability vision. So, our vision, our mission, our goals and objectives, our action plans should be based on the sustainability vision. That means, we, don't, we are not just thinking for the present and few present, but for the future, for the far future and for all the countries, for all the generations to come. Okay. And it also sustainability culture also helps us in facing the reality uh, without uh, surrogating it to others, without uh, giving it to others. So, it helps us as a powerful tool, uh, realistic tool to experience the reality, to understand the reality, to understand the social issues and the problems. So, again, um, uh, so therefore, we need uh, whatever we uh, uh, we do in our day to day practices, either we consume, we, uh, we um, entertain, we um, work, we uh, you know even if we use the water, we breathe, we um, take food in every practice, in every decision making, in every activity we must embed sustainability everywhere. That means, in our living style, in our in our thinking pattern, in our decision making, in our engagements, everywhere we must embed. So, whatever we are going to do, be it shopping behavior, being a consumption, being uh, you know being a um, you know, being a, um, uh, live, being a get together, organizing a get together, a picnic or uh, a, um, that means a movie or um, uh, looking at seeing a movie or the pr production of some uh, manufacturing uh, manufacturing tools, etc. Everywhere, in every aspect, in every activity, in every thought process, we must embed it. That is, sustainability should be there in a as a part of our thinking process and decision making process. So, therefore, <coughs> we must completely use it, utilize it and engage it fully in our life framework, in our lifespan, in our day to day activity. So, sustainability is a culturally ingrained when it enters into the major decisions of every type. Every type means be it business, be it health, be it education, be it industry, be it service, be it governance, be it, be it you know, be it you can say the marketing, any activity. What is every nowadays all of us, most of us, we say that what is the sustainability approach, what is the longevity, what is the feasibility, what is the utility of not only the product and services, but it is what is the sustainability that means the future use of this product. So, if you believe that sustainability is a part of our uh, day to day framework, then automatically it can help us as a tool, as a tool to um, help us in imbibing these values and citizenship behaviors. So, education for sustainable development is def therefore defined as education that encourages changes in the knowledge, skills, values and atti attitudes and that enable us for a more sustainable and just society for all. So, education for sustainable development ESD and especially um, especially uh, focusing on GCED that means global citizenship education within the framework of education for sustainable development, how all of us we can adopt the skills, competences, attitude, values of a global citizen, global citizen so that we can behave responsibility. Uh, we can uh, we can behave res res responsibly. We have we can deliver uh, deliver and uh, we can engage our um, ourselves in different kinds of social activities, academic activities, or political activities, or economic activities, which which uh, which uh, always have the positive impact, which always uh, seek uh, which always seeks for the seek for the uh, solution of uh, social issues, so solution of the challenges, environmental challenges, how uh, and uh, political and economic and financial challenges, but also at the same time uh, that means it mobilizes all kinds of resources, uh, resources that financial resources, our services, our human resource, everything towards a towards building a just society, sustainable society, towards building a sus um, for sustainable society, just society, and which will be not only relevant for our present generation, present people, present um, citizen, but also for the future generation. So. How can all of us, how can we build, uh, build together a just society, peaceful society, sus sustainable society for which we need to learn, we need to learn, we need to acquire, we need to apply, we need to 
use and practice all these uh, sustainable um, skills, competencies, uh, values, right kind of values, positive attitudes, right kind of knowledge and competencies, be technical, non-technical, generic skills also. So, that is ESD helps us, ESD promotes it, but within the framework also, within that framework of ESD, how GCED can be incorporated to develop all these kinds of knowledge, values, attitudes and the competencies. Okay. ESD also say aims to empower and equip the current and future generations to meet their needs, yes. We are not just thinking about the present challenges, issues and present resources and uh, problems, but we also need to protect or think for the future generations to meet to meet their future needs uh, in, uh, in a very balanced and integrated way, uh, uh, way for maintaining a balance, you know economic, uh, balance, economic, social and environmental dimensions of the sustainable development. So, all of us we, as we know that people, planet and prosperity, people that is a HR, human resource, people, planet is that environment or ecosystem and the prosperity especially the economic uh, aspects, economic aspects. So, these people, planet, prosperity are the three pillars, three pillars of sustainability um, domain. But however, we can here we can add within the framework of it, uh, we can add culture also, culture as a, as a, again culture, uh, heritage and culture is can, it is again, uh, is again it is an important driver of mobilizing this. So, here we can add culture as a important driver. Similarly, an ESD is the tool, ESD is the tool which is overlapping all the three domains or drivers and it is the you can say it is the it is the tool, it is the key driver to mobilize all kinds of these domains, to mobilize the human resource that is mobilize the people, to mobilize the you know prosperity that is economic financial resources and to also utilize our acquired knowledge and skills and competence to protect our uh, environment that is to protect our planet. So, ESD can provide this kind of affordable living outcomes, improved comfort level, environmental benefits, uh, all these things through. Uh, by utilizing all kinds of resources. So, here we can say ESD sometimes what happens that we um, our culture has become so uh, people planet prosperity with culture, culture of peace, culture of our heritage, cul culture of our you know diverse uh, diversity and uh, unity, culture of our you know practices. Uh, so, so with the help of that means with the help of the culture, um, additional features of the culture. Um, ESD can uh, take us forward towards this uh, sustainable planet, sustainable planet starting from and through this we can also solve the all kinds of problems starting from the uh, you know uh, energy to water, uh, water surface to the gas consumption to the, um, the comfortable living, the environment pollution, all kinds of the issues that can be addressed through these three pillars of ESD um, from sustainability that is people, planet, prosperity with the help of uh, with the help of ESD and culture being a very major, major driver also, culture being the major driver. Because culture encompasses all kinds of things, our traditional knowledge, culture encompasses the people also or whatever we have learned from our past uh, generations and culture also incorporate a part of our you know practices in the, uh, in, in the environment. So, within the ESD culture can become an important driver, uh, driver to uh, help us in uh, the designing, creating and uh, creating a sustainable planet. So, these are the some of the steps that we can see right now. Like from starting from this uh, practices, from the statistics and learning, training, instruction, practice, success that means through these ladders, through these inductive steps, through these sequences when we learn we become make a, make, uh, a part of uh, that means we make ESD is a uh, ESD is embedded in the curriculum, not just in terms of environmental education or in, uh, in terms of only um, financial, uh, financial sustainability, but in terms of all practices, all the pra practices. So, automatically we develop a kind of patterns, uh, habit patterns. So, it's, these are the habit patterns by learning, uh, acquiring the sustainable uh, knowledge, skills, competences, etcetera, we develop learning habits. So, these sustainable learning habits will take us forward not just for the childhood education relevant for the school education, but for also, but for also higher education. So, higher education at the same time we can utilize it in, in 
um, in all spheres of uh, our uh, workspace, like uh, starting in the industry, in the in the industry, in the service sector, in the uh, marine life, in our um, even in our um, technical front. So, everywhere we can utilize this knowledge and etcetera for not only for uh, enhancing our comfort level, our quality of life, our living standard, but at the same time protecting the planet for the future generation. So, as uh, you know many member states have already uh, already embraced this important, uh, important SDD, ESD component, uh, component uh, in the framework of the public awareness uh, for uh, you know for removing the all the um, for removing the poverty uh, for sustainable consumption production and you know for combating the climate change all these kinds of to deal with the pandemic to build the disaster resilient communities to move, motivate people to be resilient and optimist to promote the culture of peace, non-violence and uh, you know hard work then uh, collectiveness, collective that and to um, collectiveness that is to live together, to share and care for each other. So, that universal values to adopt for the social being. Uh, social uh, well-being and a community well-being. So, education teams are also uh, from different states, different uh, countries also member states also. They also implement these policies in, turn in, their, uh, in their business plans and business policies even in the, uh, in the organizations in the academic institutes also. So, uh, so there uh, to build the capacity to, so the, for the capacity building uh, for the manpower training, teacher training, manpower training, skill uh, training, competency uh, uh, development, all kinds of things. So, they have used this ESD, uh, already used the ESD extensively to build the capacity of the people, not just the teaching community, but for the service sector, for the common man, for the um, uh, skilled worker, for the Mm, technicians for the professionals for every aspect the sustainability things can be given through ESD and continues to promote the again. So, nowadays you know uh, we have taken this green initiative that is the how to minimize the carbon footprint, how to minimize that is zero carbon uh, put, footprint like with this on pandemic in this online classes this so definitely the uh, carbon footprint has reduced because with this lockdown with this kind of you know restricted um, movement of the vehicles. So, the pollution uh, pollution level has come down so, if friendly so that means the eco, 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 our ecology or environment has also the pollution has also de uh, decreased so the environment quality has enhanced that is thing and the unnecessary activities unlike the human activities has also been cut down and this online education also the carbon footprints that is the uh, carbon footprints because of the communication transportation and all kinds of the uh, so materials materials uh, study materials this has also been reduced so we are we have taken this green school initiative similarly green marketing green green marketing eco friendly uh, eco friendly uh, packages eco friendly green shopping online shopping digital shopping e commerce green uh, um, green uh, green markets green uh, shopping green then green schools and then uh, green industries, green industries, all these kinds of that means to minimize the carbon footprint. So, these kind of initiatives have also been taken up. So, so many green schools, uh, green marketing, green industries, green service sectors have been um, have been uh, initiated by many of the member states that is uh, many, many of the member states both in the Gulf and Uni European countries as well as the in Indian context also. So, as we can see these are the three dimensions or domains of uh, sustainability, one is social domain, social dimension economic dimension and environmental domin dimension, social is that we can say the people, environment is the planet and the economy is the prosperity and within that, um, within that the sustainable, uh, the crux is the dawn, the overlapping thing is the sustainable. If all these three domains, three drivers, they, they can uh, work together, they can work together. Uh, then uh, we can be, uh, then we can get the um, fruit, the result of the sustainability. Like for example, social domain, social domain. So, social domain uh, that suppose is the driver one, social domain that is um, people, domain of people and uh, when it interacts with the um, prosperity domain that is the economy, economy of the prosperity domain. So, definitely when there are so people they interface the, um, with the economy domain, so definitely there are so many uh, that means so many interactions, so many transactions are there as a result of is when the people interact with the prosperity or the economic financial uh, transactions, definitely, definitely a number of uh, activities, transactions, issues, all these things uh, come up in terms of you know 
all kinds of the financial transactions that come that happens between these two drivers. So, but however, yes, in these transaction, in these human transactions, uh, human economic transactions, there are so many, so many dilemmas, so many conflicts, so many issues may come up. But yes, how these issues, how these challenges, how these conflicts can be resolved. So that is why the interaction between social domain and the economic domain. There is a pro, uh, people and uh, between people and prosperity, the uh, prosperity that should be bearable, that should be uh, sorry, sorry, equitable, that should be equitable, that should be equitable. That means, when the that means that should be at par, that should be at par, a balance can be balance can be maintained. So, the social, uh, the social, the, the interaction between social and economic domains, uh, the interactions, all the human transaction, all the transactions uh, and interaction that should be equi equitable in the sense that it can resolve the inter driver conflicts, issues, challenges and can achieve the objectives, uh, objectives of uh, maintaining a equilibrium, maintaining a equilibrium. So, that uh, we can uh, achieve uh, SDGs or we can achieve sustainability. Similarly, with the environment and economic, with the environment that is the uh, with the planet, planet and the prosperity interactions, when the true driver that is the environment, when environment and prosperity economic diamonds and drivers they interact there, it has also n, n number of activities in terms of you know eco friendly that means all kinds of economic that Indian Eastern industry set up, all kinds of other activities that happens within the framework of environment. So, all the economic activities in the uh, uh, activities in the environment, so when they uh, the drivers of environment and economy. Um, driver they interact interface and they um, act uh, act uh, in each other's domain. So, definitely so many other also on, um, other uh, challenges conflicts also emerge like you know now uh, before in setting up an industry we also need to uh, clear this environmental clearance and where to establish the factory where to build in the uh, build in the uh, buildings or not. So, there are so many issues. So, when so, when this environment and economic drivers interface the transa the transaction happens it must be viable it must be viable for both it must be physical economically financially viable it must also be eco economically or eco ecologically also viable. Since so, hence whatever we do uh, as a part of this interface, uh, part of this inter driver transactions, it should be viable for, um, for both the drivers, for the economic uh, aspects, for the prosperity, for the financial growth, economic growth as well for as well as for the environment. Similarly, when the environment and people, social and inter, uh, social and environmental uh, things um, interact, drivers interact face. Like when the people they um, venture, they um, venture into the different community, different that means uh, with the you know with the deforestation or the with the uh, kinds of the new localities, the new building of the new cities, new places, new buildings, etc. So that means the uh, intervention of uh, social uh, interface of social uh, people and the planet, people and the planet, social driver and the econo environmental driver again. So, it, there should also be a balance. So, when the interaction the interface takes place so between the social and environmental again that should also be very much balanced that means, this should be bearable, bearable for the people, bearable for the economy, a, a ecology also. So, that means, the conflict, the inter driver conflict the interface of social and environment driver that should also be the conflict should also be bearable, it should be bearable. So, here if you can maintain this equitable uh, that means, inter driver, inter -driver um, uh, res outcomes to be bearable, equitable and viable then definitely ultimately we can achieve a portion of it uh, the overlapping area is as the sustainable. Okay. So, many of the member, many of the member states they have already and this model has actually started with the Broadland Commission's report, but now also uh, this is the basic framework we can also add on the you know we can develop our own framework by adding new framework like like for example, some industry people they can add on add another an, another um, driver another uh, driver you know driver as the you know uh, they may add it as the um, add as the uh, they may have sustainable entrepreneurship, sustainable business, uh, so sustainable business or uh, similarly for the social activities we can build up, um, you can say build up this uh, um, uh, what is that um, uh, ESG within the ESG, ESG is the tool to maintain that equ equ equality, uh, viability and um, balance. So, uh, similarly here also we can add the culture, culture as a uh, another domain. So, like for example, excluding uh, these three drivers as uh, the three main drivers, if we think that for our 
uh, activities for our um, business for our purpose if any other driver is very significant okay significant similarly we can also add for the uh, peace peace as another driver okay how how the peace can be maintained across all the drivers so we can add on another framework that is the peace is another driver significant driver because we think that consider that it is a very important factor so depending on the requirement depending on the context depending on the transactions in the business we can also add on the new driver framework so like just now here we can just talk about the heritage can be a driver culture can be a driver so all these green school initiatives green marketing green shopping green industries you know all kinds of things um, to minimize the carbon footprint in the society have been initiated so here also we can say like for example see this is another picture of cultural sustainability cultural sustainability that is social sustainability economic sustainability environmental sustainability and another domain has been added that is cultural sustainability so here as because culture plays a very vital role in esd and in achieving sustainability and so sdgs so we put it in the framework that is as because we give more importance to this how to maintain the cultural sustainability so in the um, in the that means in the present days of the cultural diversity multiculturalism then multiple languages multiple ethnicity all kinds of things yes we put the we put um, um, importance to the culture how to maintain cultural sustainability in the sustainability framework so that is why we have put it as a independent driver so here in another like for example uh, in another circle it is a, it's a johannesburg in a, it's a study of the johannesburg where so here they have that uh, in the within the circle uh, within the circle of the sustainability they have identified four parts okay four parts yes one is ecology uh, one is ecology economics and politics yes politics as well as another is the culture so for their uh, for their um, for their um activities and int human interaction transactions and uh, uh, um, governance so they have identified these four uh, four uh, uh, sectors four sectors so four sectors are important uh, finance economics is important ecology is important culture is a peaceful culture maintaining a peaceful culture that is important and politics politics is also uh, important so for their benefit for their transactions for their uh, so they have framed this uh, circle of sustainability so where they have given given the equal importance for these four domains four concepts so how to create the culture of sustainability so how to create the culture of sustainability that is this is another important thing that is how to create a culture of sustainability so how how so uh, that means how to believe uh, believe that um, believe that sustainability is very much necessary how crucial it is for the people um at all levels of the organizations and they must be aware of its importance the sustainability effort and also make a plan that is the first step is to um, is a big one that is for the why how to be proactive how to take the initiative in, in establishing the um, that means in establishing that uh, establishing that um, platform like the green initiative green schools green marketing green shopping so how to be proactive uh, in its implementations similarly the event event secretary general uh, he has already taken the global initiative in education by uh, establishing the global education first in, uh, initiative that means how education should be given the utmost priority utmost importance and accordingly plans or chalk out the plan and making that plan uh, you know plan um, workable uh, uh, actionable so and sometimes also we can also sometimes also we can make it um, uh make it more sometimes we can also make it personal sometimes uh, we have to make it personal we have to make it more realistic achievable and how this global and how to foster global citizenship through these all kinds of these this education global education first initiative or green initiatives green initiative that is also it, how to develop this culture of sustainability so that is in order to achieve sustainability not only culture and heritage is an important thing but also we have to make a culture of sustainability culture of sustainability sustainability has become a work culture sustainability has become a, a part of our lifestyle sustainability has become a part of our consumption and production now these are some of the this is all about the uh, global citizenship education and how culture and heritage can become an important part and how to how G, gced framework that is the global citizenship education framework can be initiated how green school initiative green initiatives can be taken up these are some of the uh, you know links youtube links that you can go through uh, which, which can clearly explain you regarding these things 
So, now I am concluding this uh, chapter, this uh, global citizenship chapter here only. So, thank you very much.